Hey, what's up everybody out there in YouTube land? It's me, Elric Ferris, your host here in the Tech of Tomorrow. What we do at Tech of Tomorrow is bring you the Tech of Tomorrow, but today. That's right. Today, we're going to bring you the full review of one of the latest cards from AMD and Sapphire. This is the new HD 7750 Ultimate Silent Edition card. So check it out. Here's the box. If you guys missed the unboxing, make sure to check that out right here behind me on the screen. So today we're bringing you the full review. We'll be talking about the card, how fast it is, the price, its heat, and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's jump right in and take a look at this new card from Sapphire. <laughs> Right off the bat, you guys can see that this card has a giant heatsink all the way around the card. There's absolutely no moving parts. This is a passively cooled card, meant to be totally silent. Great for an HTPC or for a system that you just want to have no noise in whatsoever. That said, make sure that you do have adequate airflow on the card. Some of the basic features of the card, it features 512 stream processors, 16 ROPs, it has one gigabyte of GDDR5 memory with 128-bit memory interface. As far as the core clock goes, this one comes in clocked at 800 megahertz. It also has a memory interface of 1125 megahertz. So those are the basic features of the card. There's no crossfire connection on this card. It's not meant to be used in a crossfire consideration at all. It's just a single card that you're going to be wanting to use in your system if you want, like I said before, absolute silence. Taking a look at the rear I.O., we can see there's a single DVI, a single HDMI, and a single DisplayPort connection. That we have all the latest technology supported, and there's one of each of these. The PCI interface is based off the new 3.0 design, and that should show significant improvement when Ivory Bridge is released here very, very soon. Like with all of the AMD cards, you're going to get all of the iFinity support. This card will also support the new 4K monitors. So basically all those features, DirectX 11, all those things are incorporated into the card. Now that we've showed you the card, we've showed you the features, let's jump in and let's take a look at the performance of this card. Okay, so you guys have seen the card. You guys know what it's all about. This is a very entry level gaming card. It's gonna to come to the market about $120 and it runs just slightly slower than the 550 Ti, which is priced actually about $20 more than it. So it's priced right in a kind of a narrow gap right there. Pretty good card. Things I like about it, the card stayed cool throughout our entire testing. Even during our testing, the card never got over 60 degrees Celsius. Now, the one thing you want to watch out for, though, is the heat thin around the card. It does get very hot. If you were to touch it with your hand, you could possibly burn yourself because you got to think about this. All of the heat from the GPU is being sucked out by that giant radiator and then dissipated inside your case. So another thing to take note there also is make sure you have plenty of airflow in your case. That way, all that hot air is being sent out and keeping it away from the part inside your system. As far as gaming goes, this card plays games okay. It's just an entry-level card. It'll play Battlefield 3. It will not play it on its ultimate settings. It'll play it on its meeting settings and play it okay. This thing is mainly really geared though as an entry-level gaming card, HTPC, and to be utterly, totally silent. Now, in those respects, this card is a total winner. So at the end of the day, I have to say, if you're looking for a card, that's under 150 bucks, doesn't make any noise, will still play your games okay, 
but is mainly just chock full of all the latest features and the 28 nanometer process and all that stuff that comes in this latest AMD card, this could be a winner for you folks. I'm Elric here at Tech of Tomorrow. See you folks later.